Let me let me move quickly. Uh, Luke six twenty seven. God said we are to do this. Should we? And what are your thoughts on what that should look like? And again, Corey, I'm gonna need you to spell your name right. All right, just it's it's not it's not that difficult for you to go and just add an e right in between an r and an y. It's not difficult at all. Matter of fact, you don't even have to do it legally. Just do it on YouTube. All right, I'm kidding. Luke six twenty seven. What does it say? But I say to you uh, who hear, love your enemies to do good to those who hate you. <sighs> That's a tough one. Doggone it, Corey. That is a tough one. God said we are to do this. Should we? And what are your thoughts? Let me, let, let's spend some time on this one. Let us spend some time on this one. I'm going to make some of you guys upset. I'm sorry, I apologize, but I am going to make a lot of you upset. I'm going to even bother me, okay? I'm going to put you you guys on the screen so that those who might watch this later can see some of you guys' reactions. I'm getting ready to bother you. Jesus said to love your enemies. Let's put it back on the screen. I, you all see what I'm seeing, right? Love your enemies. He did not say only love your doctrinally sound, denominationally sound Christian brothers and sisters. He didn't say that, did he? No, 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 no. We just talked about how you got some haters. Matter of fact, you all might be some haters yourself. Let, can, can we just tell the truth? Shame, shame the devil. Let's just be honest. The Lord is watching. Some of you guys are haters. <laughs> some of you are. It, just, it is what it is. Some of you are, stop being a me Okay. Lesson number four today. We've had three other lessons. Lesson number four. You stop being a hater. How about that? But people who do things to you spitefully, intentionally, or sometimes even unintentionally, you you lose it. Lord, Lord, we should we should wish to have a camera following all these people in the chats when they drive to work or drive down the street and someone drives incorrectly. Right? We should we should we <laughs> but we hate people. Not very long. We don't hate people very long, but us as Christians, we offer this temporary hate. What I mean by that is that we have no love to offer them just for the time being because I'm not feeling like it. I don't feel like showing love. I don't feel like showing grace. I don't feel like showing mercy. Yeah, that, that's hate. It's a, it's a, it's a ill thought towards another person. Even if you feel like you are justified, we do that. And I can promise you, God is going to deal with you. Matter of fact, God might have been dealing with you. Some of you are wondering, wait a second, Lord, I do this and this and this. Why are things still going wrong? Because you're a horrible person. Jesus said, you did not, listen, you didn't come see me when I was, when I was naked, when I was hungry, uh, when I was in jail, when I was sick. Well, Lord, when did that happen? Well, as often or as many times as you didn't do it to the others, you did it to me. So when you don't want to go visit the person, um, or help the person who's homeless or the person who's sick, the person in jail, when you have no grace, no love for anybody. How many people want to see Robert Morris's head crushed in? Come on, tell the truth, shame the devil. There's this vengefulness that pops up and that we want to be the one to administer justice, but we don't want anyone to administer justice to us. We only want to show love and forgive the people who maybe look like us, my daughter, my son, my grandsons, or whomever, they do something. And then, you know what? I forgive them. But you, 47-year-old man, no, I don't know who you are. Nope, no forgiveness whatsoever. Guy sitting outside the store, hey, can I, get a, can I get a couple dollars? No, get you a job, you bum. Oh, really? Okay, okay. And then you go back home and pray. And the Lord is, while you're praying, the Lord is, you know what? I'm not, oh, what? Did I, hark, did I hear something uh, on the earth? That's that's my way of of uh, speaking like God would speak. Yeah. So you all are you all are wanting something from God, but he can't get you to give one or three or four or five or ten minutes of niceness, mercy. You can't even at least pretend like you're a Christian before the people. At least act like I know you don't feel like it, but put a Christian shirt on. Put a shirt that has something Christian to make people think that you know better. And you don't. You don't. Because if you did, again, 300,000 churches in America and how do we act? We haven't put a dent in society, have we? 300,000 churches in America, we haven't put a dent in this evil world of ours. Because that's how we are. We don't love anybody. We love ourselves. 
We love ourselves and anyone that agrees with us. That's who we love. Yeah. How do I know? I had the audacity to have a doggone conversation with some people that I've called false teachers or given false teaching. And now, Corey, you betrayed us. And to my to the people that, that, that believe that, let me just say this in love. Shut up. Shut up with 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 a capital S, capital H, a lowercase u, uh, two T's and an arrow pointing up. Shut up. You have no business or no affairs in the things of God if you don't want to do the things that cause someone to come to Christ. Shut up. And when you're through shutting up, shut up again. And when you get mad because I told you to shut up, write it down, send me an email. And then after that, shut up some more. You have no love in your heart for anybody. I, and listen, we all can be guilty of that. You mean tell me you don't want, you want someone to just bury these people. You want someone to bury the people that disagree with you. But at one point in time, that was you. You were an enemy of God. And I can promise you, you didn't get saved the first time you heard the name Jesus. Huh, Jesus, let me run to the altar. That wasn't you. No, they almost dang near had to drag you kicking and screaming. Told you, told you 40 times, 50 times. Yeah, when I get through fornicating and drinking, I'll, I'll come around. But then when you lost your job, when he or she walked out on you, when your health was messed with, now you're on your knees praying and you want some mercy, but you can't give it to someone else. Whatever you wish man do to you, do to him likewise. You know the golden rule. Well, it's not so golden for us. We want to, we always want to be forgiven, but we don't want to do the forgiving. I know some people, listen, I know, I know a person that wants me, when I say dead, I mean wants me dead. And I just pray for him. Lord, bless that person, bless that person's family, um, move in that person's life in a mighty way because we need more people to show the love of Christ. And that's a problem. We can show the wrath of God, can't we? We're good at that. But we can't show the love of Christ. And that's the biggest problem because the world knows they're messed up. I can promise you, I've been in prison. People in prison know they're wrong. They know they're jacked up. They'll tell you. But now the next part, when you want to love somebody, not me, let somebody else do it. Okay, well, fine. Uh, in the meantime, when you go to pray, stop praying. Just shut up. Don't even pray. Don't even pray unless you're going to say, Lord, fix my heart. Soften up my heart. Yeah, we're supposed to do that. And I've seen, we've seen the chats. By the way, these chats don't go away. <laughs> they don't go away. They're permanent. We see the chats. We see the comments. More importantly, heaven does too. And we see how we go back and forth each other. We won't show any sort of love. Yeah. So, that's a problem. And the biggest problem people are going to have is the fact that I told them to shut up. Yeah, well, listen, take that now versus take hell later, because I can promise you, I can promise you my words don't carry any weight compared to what God is going to do to you. I'm just giving you a warning. You don't want to show love to somebody else? Fine. Don't get mad when God withholds it from you. I th we, we talk tough, though. We, we, we talk tough. Man, you need to give it to him. You need to give it to him. Well, we can give it to him. And you, if you guys hear the conversations that I have with some people offline, I'll give it to them. I'm not trying to embarrass anybody. Now, some people I will. Again, if if you, if you give me Jamal Bryant, I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm on. A, I, I gotta hit him. I gotta. I gotta hit him. But other people that are, they might be. They might be. I remember. I remember being in prison. By the way, let me find this song. There's a song, y'all. I can't play it here. I can't play it here. But there's a song by a guy who was in prison in, I think, in Jamaica. He was in Jamaica. Uh, I'm going to find this. I'm, doggone, let me find this. I want you guys to just listen to it whenever, whenever you get a chance. I can't play it here. Uh, his name is Jacques Jacques Jacure. And he has a song called True Reflection. And matter of fact, let me, hold on. Let me, I can't, I can't play it. Let me go to the lyrics. Um. <laughs> This made me cry because it resonated. He said, behind these prison walls, doing my paces, doing my time, uh, I'm spending my restless night visioning faces. Uh, but then he goes to his course, he says, but I swear that I can be a better man. I swear, if only you can understand, the faith in me shall set me free reflection. Um, and he speaks about um, he's not like the boy that he left behind. Who he was is not who he is. And it's still hard to find someone to show him some mercy. Do you know people still do it? I don't care. You can they can do it. But people bring up, hey, Corey did this. Corey, what, 20 years ago? 
21 years ago. No, I didn't get saved in prison. I got, I got, I've been saved for a while. Um, but they'll bring up what I may have done over 20 years ago as though it's relevant now. All right, fine. Listen, if that's where you want to be, if you want to be in my life's past, I have no problem with you living in my past. If you want to live in my past, fine. I don't care. Somebody ought to live there because I ain't there. That house is vacant. I've left that house alone. It's vacant. But if you want to be the idiot to be the squatter in that in my past house, have at it. Make a video about it. Make some texts about it. Talk to your buddies about it. Fine. But me and God have moved on. So, uh, and I won't be the idiot to go back and try to fight that person. I'm Listen, that house is full of misery. And you want to go there? Listen, hey, what kind of person wants to live in a miserable past of mine? Tells me something about you. And I pray for you, hope for the best for you, and I'll even have a dialogue with you. But, okay. Uh, I want mercy. We all desire mercy. And that's what the Lord has, that's what the Lord wants for us. But if you won't give it, you can't get it. Amen.